today's video lesson, we're going to be going over a past data response question, specifically the 2007 November Higher Level Paper 3 question number 3. First we're going to pause the video and read the question to ourselves before we get into the answers. So pause now and read the extract. Let's get into the definitions now. The first definition is of a quota. This is from our section of the course on international economics. You can read the definition here. It's an import barrier meant to protect domestic producers, specifically a physical limit on the imports of a particular good. Next we've got normal profit. Normal profit is a microeconomic concept that refers to the cost of running a business. If an entrepreneur does not earn a normal profit, the entrepreneur will shut down in the long run. Let's move on to part B. Part B is another theory of the firm question relating to perfect competition and the effect that the entrance of new firms into a perfectly competitive market will have on existing firms' profits. The two markets, or the one market is the taxi market, and we'll also be looking at a taxi firm. Notice you've got the market diagram on the left with the equilibrium price and quantity, from which we find the marginal revenue and the average revenue as seen by the individual firm. In any theory of the firm question, you must draw marginal cost, average total cost, and label the firm's profit maximizing quantity. When new firms enter, the supply increases, lowering the price, reducing the marginal revenue, and taking a firm from earning normal profits to earning economic losses. Along with the correctly labeled graph on Part B of a data response question, you want to be sure you have a clear explanation as well that makes explicit reference to the graph. So here I'm making connections to the article referring specifically to the bicycle taxi market, talking about how the entrance of new firms due to the lower price of bicycles will reduce or eliminate the profits of the firms already in the market. It's very important to refer to the graphs once again. Here at the end I'm going to refer to the red rectangle on the graph which represents the economic losses experienced by firms in this market following the entrance of new competitors. Moving on to part C, we're now going to get into an international economics topic but it includes a microeconomics diagram the effects of the removal of a tariff on bicycles in Kenya. First you want to draw your domestic supply and your domestic demand for bicycles along with the world price without any protectionism and a world price with a tariff. Here I've labeled the quantity of imports that would exist without a tariff, although I mislabeled it the first time. And with the tariff there would be clearly fewer imports due to the fact that imported bicycles are more expensive. Now, a clear explanation, once again, referring to specific points on your graph is important. So I'm going to identify the quantity produced before the removal of the tariff by Kenyan bicycle manufacturers of Q1 and the quantity produced after the removal of a tariff, along with the increase in imports that results from the tariff's removal. The quantity of bicycles demanded increases to QD, making bicycles cheaper and allowing more Kenyans to have access to this technology. All right, let's move on to question D. Question D is always the most difficult and time-consuming component of a data response question. And one of the best pieces of advice I could give is to start with the clear topic sentence, which you will then go about proving using evidence from the text and your knowledge of economics throughout the rest of your response. So here I make a clear statement at the beginning that the removal of the tariff on bicycles will have positive effects for the nation's development. But then I went on and defined economic development before returning to the article to look for evidence of the lack of development in Tanzania before the removal of the tariff. So I'm referring to the income, how low it is. It's only six times the price of a bicycle. Now I'm going to find some more evidence. I talk about the fact that the lower tire prices does not do enough to improve the access to bicycles. And then I find some, some specific examples of how lower bicycle prices will benefit the level of economic development in Tanzania. So I'm referring to children's access to school, businesses access to markets, and I refer to the role of women in Tanzania. So disadvantaged groups such as women can find more employment opportunities. And I give a specific example of the type of employment opportunity that a bicycle might present women in Tanzania. So the most important part of a data response question of course is to make explicit reference to the article. Notice that I return to the article several times to find evidence that I can include in my answer. I have organized my answer as a short essay. I make several points and I have a conclusion. Here's my conclusion. So I kind of restate my main idea that a reduction in the bicycle tariff will make a big difference 
And then I talk generally about the role of technology in increasing productivity and incomes. This may not be the best answer, but it's a good answer to this essay question, to this evaluation question. I've included my own knowledge of economics, and more importantly, I've included evidence from the extract. So let's review our graphs here. We've got the theory of the firm graph with a perfect competitor earning losses. We've got the removal of a tariff and the effect on imports. And we'll scroll down one more time. You can pause the screen here to read the full evaluation. This is the eight point component of the 20 point data response question. So that wraps up our worked solution of a data response question. We'll do more of these as the IB exam approaches in May. I hope you found this useful. Yeah.